Hey guys, how you doing? In this video today, I'm gonna to show you how we built a very simple adjustable stomp rocket that we're gonna use for our preschool kids in our nonprofit STEAM Innovation Hub. So let's go ahead and take a look at what you need. We're gonna be using some half inch PVC um, and some just various adapters. And so for your cuts, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need four inch, four four inch pieces of PVC and they're gonna to attach to these sections right in here to build that together. And then we've got two six inch pieces right here, one where the, the tube's gonna go, or the two liter, and then over here for the rocket. And so, very simple cuts. I did the designs in a way in which you only had to measure two different, four inch and six inch. And then we've got our cross, two 90s, a T, then we've got a threaded 90 degree onto uh, this nozzle. So that way your kids can experiment with angle and design. And then as you start to mess around with this, you can measure the angle to see which distance the furthest or highest or things like that. So as we go to jump in here, let's go ahead and um, assemble the pieces. And then I'm gonna show you a couple quick things just to make your life a little bit easier. So as we assemble here, this is the piece that's going to connect to the two liter over here then you can just tape that on I, did, I just have a simple water bottle but a little a half inch pvc will slide right on you can just tape it to secure it and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and attach the four inch pieces for the legs this is going to give you some some leverage so that when you go to put your two liter onto the ground it doesn't drag now if you think about this i'll go ahead and put these pieces on when you go to stomp that water bottle if we don't plug it, you're going to lose your, your thrust or your force because air is going to seep out these legs here. So one of the things that we do is, you can go more advanced, but if I'm working with kids, what I do is I just take some tissue and I just clog it in here like so. Just prevent that. So when I stick it in here, now the air only has one way to go and that's straight. So I'll go ahead and clog this other one here real quick and then we'll proceed with the build. Okay, so this starts to build the frame. Now all we're gonna do is add another four inch piece right here, and then we're gonna add our T. And the reason that we add a T to this is this provides some further support for the rockets. Otherwise it gets too heavy, and this will actually just tip over. So just like we did with the legs here, we're actually gonna plug this underneath as well. So um, we've got one more piece of Kleenex here. Just gonna cram that in underneath. Just like so. All right. Then we go ahead and add another four inch piece. Slide that in. And then from there, we're gonna add this threaded 90 degree piece. And this is something that I learned and I think it's really, really sharp, especially you get kids to experiment. So this kind of comes out the side. So here's kind of the overview here. And then what you do is you screw this 90 piece in with the threaded thread here. And you screw it in just enough to get it where it's secure. Just rotate that a couple times. So now the kids can mess with angle. So now when they go to stick their racket, they can go, well, what if I go straight up or at this angle or this angle or straight out? It gives them some different ways to experiment. And then you can start to do some lessons on, well, how do I how do I know what this angle is? How do I measure? And there'll be some things we can show in the future video. And then the last thing that we have is our final six inch piece, which just rests right there. And there you have it we've got our rocket launcher stomp pad. So now you just add your two liter, stick it on, tape it, put your rocket on, and this one here, because it's desktop, we can actually launch it here in the space. So I'll show you what it looks like. 
So here's one ready to go. Now keep in mind, we just have just a regular water bottle, so it's not that much air to thrust. Uh, but now that I got my rocket on, and we'll show you this in the next video, different ways to design rockets. So I'm just gonna set this just like that. And then when I give this a good fist pound, it should hopefully take off. And there you have it. There's how you make your stomp rocket launcher.